Hi, how's it going? Charles Bonston. Welcome to the deep, deep part of the series. Hopefully your home is going to be on the market. Hopefully it's going to be marketed correctly. Hopefully there's going to be a great pricing strategy. You know how to deal with the brokers. You have the mindset. You're cleaning your house. It smells good. It looks good. It's bright. It's airy. It's clean. Everything is great. What's the best time to show it? Okay. Well, number one is obviously the open houses. Number two is you're going to be getting requests for all weird hours of the day. The thing is, it's not when you are convenient and available to show it, it's when it's convenient and available for the buyer. Sometimes that 8 a.m., 8 p.m., lunchtime, you're like, what, lunchtime? You wanna see it at lunchtime? You wanna see it at 10.30? You have to have the time commitment. How do you host an open house? Number one is you have to post it early in the week. Post it on Tuesday. You want this big hype that, that leads up to the open house, the initial open house, or the open houses after posting it on Facebook and Instagram that you're hosting an open house. You let the doorman know. You let all the people in your building know. You say, hey, listen, swing by. We're having an open house. Have maybe just a friends and building open house for them on Wednesday from five to six. Have some food, have some nice music, have some show sheets, professionally made show sheets. One big professional photo on one side and the address at the bottom. You turn it over and it has the other three photos, the floor plan, the description, the price, the monthlies. So on Sundays, the first open house, two hours. The second open house, hour and a half. Third open house and every subsequent open house after that, just one hour. If you don't sell it, like I said, after 17 days, you have to reduce the price. It's known as a price improvement. It sounds better than a price reduction or price decrease. Price improvement. It's all about verbiage. You have to check with the co-op and make sure there's no co-op rules. Some of them say you have to register it. There could only be one at the same time. It could only be an hour. You have to have someone downstairs. You have to escort them up and down. And some of the condos have those rules as well. 11 o'clock is when you start it. First open house, Sunday, 11 to one. The following week, on Sunday, it's 11 to 12.30. And then the following is 11.30 to 12.30. Then the following week, 11.30 to 12.30, 11.30 to 12.30. Thing is, you want people to go to your open house at 11 first, because they're going to a ton of open houses, hopefully, and they're going to one at 11, then 11.15, then 11.30. Then they have to take a train downtown and go to one at 12.30, one o'clock, then they wait for three o'clock. The later in the afternoon, people aren't gonna go. Too early in the morning, people are not gonna go. They haven't had their breakfast, they're not ready, they haven't had their coffee. Don't host it on, Memorial Day weekend, Labor Day weekend, July 4th. You know, if there's a, a holiday, don't host it then because no one's gonna show up. Spend at least a half an hour before every single open house, before every showing. Spend at least 15 minutes getting the home prepared. Make sure you have a sign-in sheet as well. A sign-in sheet has their name, whether they have a broker or not. We also don't wanna shun the, the, the buyers who have brokers, who are loyal to their brokers. The buyer will see it and they'll, they're like, I've been working with them for two, three months. You know, he deserves the compensation, especially going through the co-op package. And a lot of buyers won't make an offer unless they're pushed by their buyer's agent. In the description, make sure you say, open to buyers with brokers, open to brokers who have buyers. You need this open to everyone. So sign in sheet, the name, their email, their phone number, and whether they're working with a broker, that's it. Easily created within Excel, right after the open house, you thank them, hey, listen, thanks for stopping by. I hope you really enjoyed yourself. Let me know if there's any feedback, if there's questions, or if there's any offers, just send me an email directly back. Fantastic, thanks a lot. Here's a little tidbit, is make your email, so it's not your personal email, make your email just a random at Gmail, your address, apartment, so 103 West 15th Street, apartment 6, E at Gmail. <laughs> That's funny. That's probably someone's apartment. <laughs> Following day, you call them and say, hey, listen, is there any feedback? But the thing is with the feedback, someone will say, oh, I opened the fridge and it smelled, or I wish there was, it, there was less clutter, or it was too dark, or the, the photos didn't make the apartment look that, that attractive, or I wish the blinds were up, or the doorman was me. I don't know, or the closets were dirty. There's gonna be feedback. You know, I have a home right now that, that is sitting because it's on the first floor. We highlight that and we say, hey, listen, we got new drapes, put in better lights, we bring it up immediately. We say it's on the first floor. That's why it's factored into the price. Since we did that, since we took all that feedback and we put it into the marketing campaign, we're now getting more showings. Make sure you eat, you go to the bathroom and everything else beforehand because it is exhausting to do a two hour open house. As much as you're like, oh, it's easy and everything else, it gets exhausted. You need a lot of energy. And if there's any questions, because open houses, as, as minimalistic as you may make them out to be, are huge. I've sold probably 85% of my homes at open houses. Have an awesome day. Again, my name is Charles Botenston, founder of Botenston Properties International. If there's anything we can do that we've said along the way, shoot me an email personally, charles at botenston.com. All the information is below. Have a fantastic day, and hopefully you sell your home.